to day two of Daily Mix Beauty Bootcamp. Remember, we are with you all week, so stay subscribed so you don't miss one of the videos. And on Friday, we will be announcing the grand winner. We have got such a challenge for you today, guys. As you know, vlogging is a massive part of having a successful YouTube channel. So what you're gonna do today is a shopping haul vlog. We wanna see your best products and you've got five minutes to get those across to us with loads of personality and loads of facts. There will be no editing and we'll be watching from up here to see what you all have to say and I'm excited to find out what your favorite products are as well. So uh, let's get started. Hi guys, first of all I'm going to go for um, my Naked palette, it's got a nice selection of colours, I think there's about 12. I just love her, she's so gorgeous. So cute. Yeah, 12. Next I've got MAC Russian Red and this is a matte finish. This is one of my favourite lipsticks ever, it's the most beautiful red. I find Ruby Woo so dry on my lips, it flakes a lot on my lips and this one, it's matte but it doesn't flake at all. Good information. It doesn't come off, it's got a really good staying powder powder power <laughs> on it and it also looks really nice. She's got a real Zoella vibe. Next now, I have the, um, the Jelly High Shines by Barry M. So that's it, that's everything and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed all my favourites and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thoughts? You love her? I love her too. One, she's absolutely beautiful and she looks amazing on camera. Two, she's, she dresses so well and she looks really cute and, and chic and quirky. She's quite appealing, I think, yeah. over a broad Spectrum. range of ages. Yeah. When I found out what the challenge was going to be, I was very nervous. During the challenge, I was still nervous, but I was trying to concentrate on what I was doing and trying to focus on the vlog. And then after the challenge, I was not as confident as I was on the first challenge, but I'm still pretty happy with how it went. He looks good, doesn't he? Nice makeup today. Hey guys, in this video, I will be showing you my favorite products at the minute. And I like to use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And this is a matte bronzing powder with real cocoa. And oh my God, it smells just like chocolate. Like you want to eat it. Oh my God, I love this product. The really loves product that product. It's going to be skincare. And these are my sugar pill palettes. Have you guys ever heard of this? Brand. Like seriously, this is amazing. Look at this bright pink and this white. Oh my God, I've never seen a matte white this amazing. It's so cool. Oh my God, I love these products so much. You need to try them, at least one of them. Get your list and go shopping. Bye guys. That was lovely. He's awesome. Really, um, really confident. Really Loads of personality. Really spoke about the products well swatch them all. You can tell he's done um, quite a lot of vlogs, can't you? I was sold. Just have one of them. When I found out about the challenge, I was literally going inside my head all the products that I need to talk about and like what I'm going to say in the next five minutes because I talk a lot. So to film that all in five minutes was quite a challenge for me. Hello Pixie Woos. Unfortunately, technology has not developed as far as Smellogram yet, but if it had, I would ask you to smell this product because it smells divine. I have sometimes been likened to the Disney Princess Ariel for my red hair, and that's kind of started a mini obsession with mermaids. So when I found out that Deborah Lippman had a nail polish called Mermaid's Dream, I pretty much had to get it. It's kind of like a mermaid and a unicorn had a baby and this was born. <laughs> so it's really great. I've got a drugstore product, and this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder. And if you're like me and you've had exams or anything that's you know stressing you out and you're getting a bit sweaty, getting a bit oily, uh, this really helps just mat mattify your face and get rid of that shine and keep your foundation in place all day. And it is a brilliant price. And those are my five products and I believe I have about 40 seconds left, so. <laughs> I thought she was brilliant, really concise. Loads of humour. Yeah, really clear. I love the kind of mermaid and unicorn having a baby and this is the colour. I thought yeah, she was brilliant, really watchable. It seemed like it was really well thought out yeah. and you'd only just found she out she was doing it. Really unique products there as well. I hope they saw my personality shine through in my video blog. 
Um, I hope they enjoyed it. I hope they thought I was comprehensive and could understand my points. And I hope that maybe they will buy the Laura Mercier body cream I was talking about. Hi guys, um, so today what I'm going to be doing is basically just talking about a few products that I'm really liking at the moment. I'm going to start off with a highlighter. This one is Sunbeam. I love and this product. And it looks product. like this. And all it is is just a gorgeous highlighter. Um, it's got like a gold glitter in it. This is a mascara. It is a false lash mascara from Topshop. This is just in black. You, you like that, have you? I do like that, yeah. full lashes, so you don't get all the fall down that you usually would from a mascara, so I'm really liking that. Next, I am going to go in with a foundation, and it is a Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. It's for all skin types, I would say, as well. It's quite a moisturising foundation, um, and it gives a dewy, glowy look, and it's, again, perfect for summer. And lastly, I am going to go in with the nail varnish. You can also mix it up with glitters and different colours um, and it would look really nice. So yeah, they are the products that I'm loving at the moment. Lovely. I love an accent. I can't help it. I thought she seemed a little bit nervous. Yeah, but I think I would be too. Do you know what? It was really nice when she was talking about the foundation. She really explained for other people what you know it's quite moisturizing it does this it does that which i think is really important but it's not just about her it's to yeah involve everyone that's yeah, watching absolutely. as well and with the nail polish as well she elaborated on that that you could mix it with glitter and whatnot so it's kind of thinking outside the box which yeah. is very good i personally think my video blog went quite well i think i spaced out the products that i was talking about quite well um I did it in time. I had two, about two seconds to spare. So yeah, overall I think I did time it quite well. Hi guys, my name's Anshul and I'm doing my vlog for you today on my favorite products. So um, I'm just gonna start with my beautiful. e cleanser that I use. It's a morning time cleanser, but I do sometimes use it in the evening. I love this because it really makes your skin feel like a baby's bum. <laughs> my next product, I use uh, Bernard Ben Nye's Banana Luxury powder, powder. I love the colour in this. It's like, even though it's yellow, it doesn't come on your face really yellow and you don't look like a banana. It doesn't smell like banana either, even though people like to smell it and like, oh, does it smell like bananas? No, unfortunately it doesn't. And you don't end up smelling like one when you're out. And finally, um, I use a lipstick all the time um, and I love bright colours I just feel like it really makes your outfit and my favourite one at the moment is Max Candy Yum Yum it's like a neon pink so really on trend at the minute um, and one complaint I do have it is quite matte um, and it does dry your lips out a little bit but the colour is absolutely amazing and it really finishes your look off really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later bye I think that was really good. You can tell she's got makeup experience just by the way she spoke about the products. Yeah, really she's, good. She's beautiful. She looks great. She got it's all funny. that information in there. And she spoke about trend with yeah. the lipstick. She's the I only think person she was, to touch yeah, on that. She was the only one. When I got told um, that I'd be doing a vlog, um, I was quite excited because I think I've never done one before and this is a great opportunity and a time for me to start and even try and give it a go. Um, so it was, it was nice to hear that I was doing something different and something that I'd never done before. But what the guys don't know is we have a guest judge for our deliberations. Come on in, Zoe. Hello. Hello. You've got notes in it. I do. I've made notes. Okay, talk us through your notes. Okay. So the first one was Olivia. I thought she was so cute. Really cute. I loved her style and her little bow. Hi, guys. Um, this is actually my first vlog today. I also liked that she gave quite a lot of useful tips as well. So she didn't just talk about the eyeshadow. She said where she'd use it, what she'd blend it with, what lipstick she'd wear with it, which I thought was quite nice because it gives people more ideas. I've also put really cute ending because she ended it Sweet. I'll see you soon. Bye. I was like, that was really cute. Mark was the next one. I instantly noticed that he was quite comfortable and confident. 
Whereas, you know, with some of them, it took a while for them to think, oh, okay, yeah, this is cool. I guess we'll start off with my most favorite, and this is of my Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation. He's got loads of confidence and personality, yeah. though. You yeah. can see that. Bags yeah. of it. At the end, I put, he made me want to go out and buy everything. Yes, us yeah, too. Did. Amy was next. I really like that she was calm and confident straight away. Like, she really eased into it really well. Unfortunately, technology has not developed as far as smellogram yet, but if it had, I would ask you to smell this product. Um, I really liked that she described little stories before saying why she bought something. So she was like, I went out and bought this because... I so love it was mermaids. Like, yeah, yeah. And I really liked that because it just gives more of her personality across mm. and it's just nicer to know things like that. Holly, I've put great introduction. I liked her intro. I thought she explained everything really well. She explained the video that she was going to film. I will start off with a few things that I have from Topshop. Um, I'm really liking the Topshop makeup at the moment. And I've also put that she was really engaging. So you were like, you felt like you were really like interested in what she was talking about. Last was Anchu. I was immediately drawn into her videos because she had such a bubbly personality. She's really confident and also she was really smiley. I love this because it really makes your skin feel like a baby's bum <laughs> and I feel super, super smooth. So this is a great cleanser. Um, I thought she had a really good sense of humour as well. I liked her humour and her personality. So your overall pick would be overall Ancho I liked the most yeah I would, I would agree with that I would as you? well yeah I would agree your opinion is going to help us so much when we have to decide who goes through to Friday's final good luck with that let's go and tell the guys some feedback wow guys what can I say what amazing talent they were so fantastic I was so impressed and actually if those had gone out onto YouTube I think that they would have been so successful they were absolutely brilliant how did you find that Olivia and that was the first one I've ever done. So. We know that was your first one and it was amazing. It was brilliant. You got nothing to worry about. You, your makeup and your hair looked fabulous and I thought your delivery was great. I love that you were quite cute with it at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes it doesn't have to be so professional. You know, it, it suited you perfectly and it was lovely. I thought you put loads of info in there as well. Well so done. Good work. Okay, Mark, how did you find it? I really, really wanted to make you guys feel like you wanted the products as well, so I put as much info You in. did that! Really? Yes, we were. Brilliant! That was one of my comments, actually. Ah, uh, you need to try the sugar pill pal palettes, like, seriously. They, they looked amazing! Do you know what I loved as well? You were so high energy, and I loved that. It was like, oh my god, this guy yeah. is that crazy, it, but, but it was amazing. just like you, which oh, I thought was you. really good. And Amy? I was nervous, but I just wanted to make sure that my true personality shone through and I was excited to be allowed to gush about my favourite products for five minutes. Do you know what? I think that really came across. Your sense of humour is really brilliant. I could really tell that you loved all those products as well. Yeah, and they were like your favourites because they're not, they're not the standard products that you generally see on YouTube. I thought that was great. Thank well you. done. And Anchor, how did you find it? Um, I thought that it was quite fun and interesting to do because I've never actually done one myself um, and I feel like this was a great opportunity for me to give it a go and see how I got on. And it, I think it's something that I would like to start doing. I thought you were fantastic, I thought you were super knowledgeable but do you know what I loved about it a lot is that you had five minutes but you weren't worried about using the whole five minutes. And you could tell it was you were doing it in your own pace. You weren't bothered about the time limit. You got everything across, loads of information. And I thought it was really clear and good. Loads of trend, product info. Yeah, there was loads in there. And Polly, how did you find it? Uh, I was quite nervous at first, but I really enjoyed it, yeah. You could yeah. see your nervousness to start off with, but I actually quite like that. I find that quite endearing. Yeah. Um, I thought you did really, really well, and you got some great info in there. A lot of those products, you touched on the fact that they were multi-uses and other ways to use them, like the nail polish with the glitter, etc. And you thought about different skin types and how those products would work on different people. That was a brilliant touch. So all round, very, very good. Well done, guys. I'm very impressed. Today we have got some models in and we would love you to put your makeup to the test. We have another judge today to judge your makeup skills. Do you want to come in? So we are two days in, that means we've got three days to go and tomorrow we have a mega challenge for them. They don't know what it is, you don't know what it is, you better come back tomorrow to find out. So leave comments and subscribe and we will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. We are going to test their product knowledge, their skills at applying makeup and how good they are at vlogging under pressure. Hello everyone.
everyone, welcome and congratulations on being chosen to be here. Um, over the next five days, we're going to be testing your skills to the absolute maximum. We'll be testing your skills in makeup applications.